No. Oh, it's turning around. Am I? Am I showing? I'm yep. showing. Oh wait, just there. Okay, here you go. All right, this is up. Mr. Green, can you turn the volume up just a little bit? We all stand up together and then bow. Say, Ohayo gozaimasu. That so. means good morning. So, try to say that one together for me. Can you do that one together? And then cross at the uh, Ms. Diedrich's cross too. Can yeah. you say that one? Repeat after yeah. me. Right. Can you do that? Oh, you can do that. Can you, yeah, you can do that. Okay, you see that the tower? No. Yes. 
four. D. A is four. Who thinks, put all your hands down. Who thinks fork is it? Okay. All right, next is eel. That looks like more. Next is fish. A few. And the next is beef. Okay, so we said eel. All right, see. Okay, go ahead. The next slide. The answer is. It's eel. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. 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 All right, the next one then. Okay, and this is from the, the Okinawa Prefecture. Okay, so, all right, um, will you be able to speak? Oh, that's right. Uh, monitor, is she typing something? I can't see anybody who's typing. Monitor? No? Okay, I'll do that then. All right, so, um, We did not the Kyodo Ryori, that means that the regional food. And then she did this slide. So Okinawa, okay, so Okinawa no Kyodo Ryori na Goya Chapuru this. So Goya Chapuru is popular Okinawan stir fry dish and then made with vegetable. And then tofu, meat, and then egg. The staple ingredient is Goya. That's a bitter metal. And sometimes the meat is substituted for the spam, spam, which is uncommon in mainland Japan. Spam. Mm. Goya chapuru is eaten hot with the bowl of rice on the side, and this is this is very simple and tasty, and it may be one of the staple foods of ja uh, Okinawa. And because of the Goya's health benefit, it's good for you. They said. So. All right, so I'm just going to the, the um, so Goya champ, Goya is a bit of milk. So all right, I'm just going to, for the next person then. All right, let's see. Okay, the next slide is Nagasaki, but the Nagasaki-san is not here today. Nagasaki-san, you have been there. Uh, Kiri-san? No, okay, so I have to kind of like, uh, just they kind of like to take a look at this one. The Nagasaki is that the one of the, the uh, very well known city in Japan actually. And then something you're looking at is the, the uh, festival called the, the Nagasaki Kunji. It's a very very the, the um that the um famous festival. And then that's actually that they have the, the Chinese uh the, the influence to it. A lot of Chinese uh that the influence from there. Yeah, because in the next story, right? And then of course the, the Nagasaki is known for the the, um, the, the nuclear bombing in uh, the nineteen forties. And then there are a couple of the, the uh, famous you know food too. And then there are some beautiful beaches as well too. Alright. So there. And then had uh, the question on that one, but uh, I'm just going to go for the next slide. All right, ready? All right, so next is the um, uh, Teron Sun, and then he's going to talk about the, the Kagawa prefecture. Go right ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Teron. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, Kagawa, uh, which is a prefecture in Japan. Um, and right there, as you can see, there is a map showing where it is. Um, near Osaka and a little bit farther away from Tokyo. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the Seto Ohashi Bridge um, or the Great Ohashi Bridge. Um, and it's known as the world's longest two-tiered bridge system and it ha even has a museum and a park dedicated to it. So, Kagawa no Seto Ohashi de bridge wo miru koto ga Right. Um, so it's known to be very long um, in reference to like other bridge systems. Um, so Kagawa Ken no Seto Hashiwa Naku de Omoshiroi desu. 
Um, and as you can see there, to the very far right, there is a picture of the bench. It's very pretty. Uh, yeah. All right. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next one is the tochigi then. All right, so I'm going to read it. Wait, okay. All right, so I'm going to need that one too. Tochigi is a very important city as well. It is a beautiful uh, place a lot of people visit. And Nikko is the one of the, the major uh, place we can visit. So, Nikko de oishi ichigo taberu koto ga dekimasu. Nikko de subarashi kegon no taki o miru koto ga dekimasu. This is that the one of the, the like a major kegon falls. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall, by the way. Nikko de urushi bijutsu kan o sampo suru koto ga dekimasu. So, urushi is the one of the, uh, the ancient iPhone. From the earliest that around the uh, 5500 BC. And the uh, Urushi Museum in Nikko uh, displays that the varied collection in a historical lacquerware. That's a lacquerware is at the Urushi, right? And then even offers visitors a chance to paint their own lacquerware for that. That's fun. That's fun. So, like, you see something like a blackish, the red, and then Usually, the, the urushi as a lacquerware is that the, they use it in the, the sometimes you know on the, the old um, structures like that. They still use that one too. All right. Uh, okay. So um, let's see. Next on, next on. Hey. Your turn. Okay. Um, oh, I go on Sundays. Ah, I did the prefecture. Um, kimono do hakin wo suruko to gade kimas. The kimono kodo mogose pass is a great place to get a taste of the kimono kodo. The kimono kodo is one of UNESCO's world heritage sites and a major pilgrimage route. Mia sen de ise jingu. Nowhere is more sacred to the Japanese than Isei Jinku Shrine. The pilgrimage to this holy site will provide you with a unique opportunity to connect with the Japanese spirit and his people. And my trivia question is, does Mia Prefecture have ninjas or beaches? Ninja! The ninja. Ninja. That's right. That's, the ninja is the, the olden time, the, the like a secret Asian kind of the the, the folks we don't like out of it, the way. All right. So, all right. Do we have a ninja in a mid prefecture? Let's see on that one too. All right. Answer. Oh, you want me to answer this Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, me prefecture has both beaches and ninjas. Yeah, ninjas, both yep. and ninjas came from Mia Prefecture back you know, like in the past. Alright, Alright, the next one then, Sugiwa. Alright, Toten san. Narade. Shikani. Esawo. Ageru. Koto. In Nada Park, there are many deer that can be fed. They are tame deer, they're not pets, but they are tame, and you can feed them. Yamanobi de Pekingu wo suru koto ga dekimasu. The Inobi Road connects many cool landmarks, such as shrines and temples. It's a trail that you can hike on. And it is very well known in Nara. Dagutsu wo miru koto ga dekimas. Okiku okiko te sugo sugoi des. In Nara, there is a giant statue of Buddha. 
it 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 stands really tall and stood and once was the tall or the biggest wooden structure in japan it took many years to complete and was built a long time ago Hello, my name is Raquel, and I will be telling you about the Miyaki Prefecture. Miyaki can de Sendai Shi ni iku koto ga dekimasu. You can go to Sendai City in Miyaki Prefecture. And Sendai City used to be a castle town, so it's very beautiful and very colorful and full of history. Sendai Shi de Kokeshi o kao. You can buy Kokeshi dolls in Sendai City, which are very popular and very pretty. <laughs> Miyagi Prefecture holds a lot of cultural history from samurai to, as I said, Sendai City, which used to be a castle town. Along with those, you also have Zao Fox Village, which is a place where you can go to see hundreds of foxes. All running around, and so, even huh? during certain、There's、seasons, you can pee, pet or feed certain the foxes. Okay, all right. Arigato gozaimasu. So, let's see. This is our presentation. Let's see how do I get out of here. All right, o、oh, k a y let's see. So, are we alright? Alright, can you see me? Alright.、Yeah. Oh, good day, alright. So, this is our small presentation. A little bit about the Japan. We got a, more, a lot of nice things about the you know, places you can visit once we can get to go. Alright, well, anyway, so that I hope you enjoy. Alright. What do we say? I hope you like the presentation and then hopefully that you get to visit Japan one day and then hopefully take my class. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Can you tell、right, us? So, we have to kind of like、uh, clean up the classroom and then have to do something that、uh, I gotta get ready for that the next period.、So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, by the way, did you get the homework? We, we got their,、um, their names and I printed them in Japanese. Thank you so much. Awesome. You can write it down for now. Good. You have something to do. Anyway, all right. You're gonna say sayonara, so let's do this one then. All right. Folks here,、uh, folks here at the home, my class, I、right, wanna say goodbye together so that、uh, let's do this one then. If he wants to, that, uh, uh, all right. I'm gonna do s h u b a n again. I go ahead. Like it is. I'm gonna. All right. Kyo, Kyo, Tsuke. Sayonara. Sayonara. Thank you.